Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to go through tens and units with numbers up to 100. Let's have a look at our first example. What we're going to do is we're going to draw our abacus. Now we've done this in a free in a few previous tutorials so you'll know what we're doing. And we're going to label it at the top with capital letters on the right hand side first units the one on the left is tens. Tens and units. So the question we have is the number 68, and we're going to write it down here, 68. How many tens and units are there in the number 68? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to write the number down here, 68. Always we'll start on the right hand side, 8 goes directly below the u, the units. And we can actually draw them, the beads, on there. So we've got 8 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now the reason why we're drawing the beads is because you'll understand what is going on firstly, and secondly, you'll find this in your class, you'll find this in worksheets, and you'll find these in tests as well. So the tens, we've got six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so therefore we can tell that 68 has got, it has got six tens and it has got eight units. Six tens and eight units. Let's have a look at our second example. Again, we're going to draw the abacus. We're going to label it at the top. We've got tens and units. And this time, we're just going to switch colors. We're going to work out how many tens and units there are in 74. Now, I've written this deliberately at the bottom here. I'm sure you can work this out. Let's draw the beads in. So on the right hand side the units we've got is 4. So we draw 1, 2, 3, 4. For the tens we have is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now beware that quite often you will sometimes see just the abacus. You won't see the number and you have to work out what number is showing and it's very easy you just count each of the columns so we have the number 74 74 has got four units and seven tens it's got four units and seven tens now understanding tens and units is very very easy let's look at our third example this time we're going to write down the tens and units and you have to work out what number is showing. So this time suppose we've got eight tens and three units. So what number is that? Eight tens and three units. Well notice over here we've got eight and three. The 3 is on the right hand side because it is the units. 3 units. We can even label it at the top here with a U. The next one we're going to have is the tens. How many tens are there? There are 8 tens. So the number 8 tens and 3 units is 83. 83. Now quite often what you will find is just to trick you and to see if you really know what you're doing they may write these the other way around. Let's do that in this example. Suppose you have the number 6 units and 9 tens. Now you won't see this very often because it's normally written the other way but just to make sure that you fully understand this we're gonna go through it. So what number is being shown now? Well we start with the units, we always start with the units. There they are. How many units are there? There are six units. So let's write that down on the right hand side. 
we can even label it at the top with a U. What comes next to the U is a T, the tens. How many tens are there? There it says that. There are nine tens. So six units and nine tens is 96. So learning about tens and units is very easy.